comprised of two pilots, a navigator, a flight engineer, and two loadmasters. During the drops you're about to see, the pilots are responsible for controlling the aircraft and communications. The navigator responsible for directing the aircraft to a precise calculated release point. The flight engineer monitors all aircraft systems and runs the checklist for the crew. And the loadmaster responsible for all the paratroopers and equipment in the rear of the aircraft. Two aircraft are moments from dropping, and the crew is working hard to maintain a stable run-in. The formation led by Major Brian Volner. Second airlift squadron completing the run into the drop zone. The C-130J, the newest and most advanced C-130J in the world. They have crew of three comprised of two pilots and a loadmaster. During the drops, the pilots are responsible for controlling the aircraft, navigation systems, management and communications. The loadmaster responsible for all the paratroopers and equipment in the rear of the aircraft. The aircraft moments from dropping and the pilots are working hard to maintain again a stable aircraft. The Lockheed Martin C-130J Hercules, a comprehensive update of the variable Lockheed 130 Hercules with new engines, propellers, electronic flight deck enhancements, and other systems. The Herc family has the longest continuous production run of any military aircraft in history. During more than 60 years of service, the family has participated in military, civilian, and humanitarian aid operations. 21 nations have placed orders for a total of over 525 C-130Js delivered wow. as of 2023. That's impressive. Is that the Amazon delivery? <laughs> Supplies. I'll drop it to your house. <laughs> to into the theater. Led by Major Sean Boyington of the 62nd Airlift Squadron. 314th Airlift Wow, there's Wing another two. Of the C-130J pilots and loadmasters from all branches oh God, of the U.S. military as well as 18 allied stuff. nations with <laughs> tactical airlift and aerial recovery. That's recovered. a lot. The aircraft are dropping supplies using container delivery systems, or CDS. The aircraft sets a nose high altitude, attitude rather, which allows the CDS to roll out the back of the aircraft using only gravity to extract the load. Each C-130J is capable of dropping 24 bundles of CDS, each bundle weighing over 2,300 pounds, for a combined total of over 55,200 pounds. On the battlefield, CDS resupply is used to deliver everything from beams to bullets to forward deployed ground forces. And ladies and gentlemen, when you look up now, you see another large formation of C-130s approaching. These aircraft departed Pope Airfield at Fort Liberty, North Carolina, over two hours ago with their load of Army paratroopers from the 82nd Airborne Division, whose members are currently engaged in combat operations and relief efforts across the globe. Is it? No, That's a lot of people. That's a lot of people. <laughs> I, uh... Can you see, Can you see it? Made up of aircraft and crews from the 19th Airlift Wing and the 913th Airlift Group. Wow. Folks, this is your job. Wow. That's a oh lot of God. people. It's amazing. <laughs> The massive aircraft of Army paratroopers who secure the airfield, over 200 of them. Today's jump being made using the static line system from an altitude of a thousand feet above the ground. That's amazing. That's pretty good. Will you look at that? How many people did it? 200? So give it up for each one of these great men and women. A safe drop is critical and it's decided these last few seconds prior to release. There appears to be any danger during the uh, peacetime jump, so the winds are too strong, or we needed to move the vehicles. It was worth the wait as we did to secure a safe drop zone. The lead aircraft piloted by Captain Matthew Smoke Frizzell. Capex Airport Mission Commander, the 19th Operations Group, wow. along with the Air Force Reserve Commander's 913th Airlift Group, comprised of five squadrons, 600 personnel, and 28 C-130 aircraft performing worldwide airlift missions. The group executes an annual flying hour program of more than 6,000 hours. 
So great to have them here and to see that today. The Airborne Jump Commander today was Captain Michael Morrison. Morris. And of course, they're all down safe, all reporting a nice safe landing for each and every one of them. That's great. There's the van the already. The 82nd Airborne Division. The mission the of the 82nd is to deploy by air uh, I'm not sure. the world without notice, execute an airborne assault, fight. There's the van. There's the, it's like a bus time. picking up those people. The 82nd is one brigade-sized task force with approximately 2,400 paratroopers ready to deploy. They call this a brigade, the division, ready brigade, or DRB-1. The lead battalion task force in the DRB-1 is prepared to depart Pope Army Field within 18 hours of being alerted. Paratroopers of the 82nd Airborne Division are pleased to show you how they are employed in combat. Right now to gather them all up, bring them back, and the process begins again to load in the aircraft that will be returning here for tomorrow's demonstration. And of course, the other aircraft headed back to Liberty now. The buses will bring the uh, paratroopers back there as they get ready to deploy for tomorrow's operation as well. No planes would have ever taken off if it were not for the maintenance professionals here at Little Rock Air Force Base. These dedicated airmen work in over 100 degree summers and icy cold winters, tirelessly completing hours of skilled maintenance to keep these jets and aircraft airworthy day and night, 24-7, rain or shine. We appreciate their efforts today. And let them know it, folks.